Jose Mourinho had fantastic success in his first year at Manchester United. He won the Europa League, our first ever Europa League trophy. He won the League Cup, the first ever Manchester United manager to win trophies in his first season. And Jose Mourinho doesn't really give long interviews, but in a fantastic and extensive interview with Oliver Kay from The Times, I encourage you to read it. Mourinho goes across a whole swathe of topics. He talks about Manchester United's future, the current strength of the squad, his legacy he left behind at Real Madrid, Porto and Inter Milan and Chelsea, what he wants at Manchester United. And I want to run through a few of the main points because there's a few key questions I want to ask you from the interview. The first thing I really like about the interview is when Mourinho's talking about the current situation at Man United. One of our first three games of the Premier League season, 10 goals scored, zero conceded. People are already putting us down as title favourites. Mourinho says, I don't like the C to be flat. He doesn't like it when everything's going smoothly in the sense that he likes to put pressure on his teams. He talks about how he always puts his watch 10 minutes fast to get himself there earlier. Mourinho is that type of manager. He likes to... Controversy is his currency, and I'm not sure whether that's a harsh thing to say, but I really don't think it is. It's what Mourinho has built his career on and what he's doing so far at Manchester United has had its controversial moments, but he's avoided most of them. But what Mourinho has instilled straight away back into this Manchester United team is a winning mentality. With the likes of Zlatan, Ibrahimovic and Pogba coming through and the fact that we're winning trophies, Mourinho is bringing that mentality back that cocksure arrogance that Man United was so embedded into our veins under Sir Alex Ferguson, but drifted away under Louis van Gaal and David Moyes, piece by piece, player by player, cup by cup, Mourinho is bringing that back. And that certainly comes across in everything that he is doing at the club. And something that he touches on in great detail is his reputation. Because Mourinho does have a reputation of leaving clubs in turmoil. But he points towards the fact that he left Porto and Inter Milan as champions of Europe. Points to the fact that he won the league at Real Madrid before he left. Points to the fact that he won the league with Chelsea before he left. But if you look at how he left Chelsea, he left there, well, they were in eighth position or something. Something they were in a terrible season as current champions. Then he came to Man United and he won the double with us. But he argues that the difference between long and short term managers, and I'll get onto the fact that he wants to see himself as a long term manager of Manchester United past his three year contract. He discusses how Real Madrid, since he left, has had fantastic success. And he discusses the foundation that the foundations he feels that he laid at Real Madrid are now helping Zidane bear fruits at Real Madrid. And Louis van Gaal argued that as well. And if you look at how Fergie left the squad back when he retired in 2012, I would argue that was the opposite of what Fergie did because the squad was not in a good condition. Yes, we were champions, but we were champions under Fergie. Fergie had the innate ability to get a hell of a lot more out of average players. When Moyes came in, those average players became average. Now, Mourinho... It's hard to argue with the success that he has had, but what he has always discussed is the fact that he can see himself at Manchester United longer than his first initial three-year contract. And it's something that I feel quite strongly about. Mourinho has, let's be honest, not stayed at a club for anything longer than, what, three, four years, I think was his longest period at Chelsea, the first time he came. I think Mourinho wants to build a legacy at Manchester United that he doesn't have on his CV. From an egotistical point of view, that's the one thing missing from his CV. He's won the Champions League with multiple clubs. He's won the league in England, in Italy, in Portugal, in Spain. He can do it again in England with Manchester United. That's not something he hasn't achieved already before. One thing he hasn't achieved is staying at a club for a five, ten year period and building that sustained period of success. That's what Fergie did. That's what Wenger did at the start. That kind of went to the wayside now with Arsenal. But that's what Mourinho wants, I feel, from a, from a selfish individual perspective. And I think that suits Manchester United's needs. But do you think that Mourinho will get that at Manchester United? How long do you see him staying at the club for? Mourinho also discusses transfers in great detail. He goes into the fact that Manchester United, because we signed Romelu Lukaku for 75 million and we signed Matic for, what, 30 million earlier in the window, have we waited until later because of what unfolded with Neymar and Barcelona and PSG and the 220 million that was paid there, that we would have paid upwards of like 150 million 
for Lukaku. We would have paid 70 million for Matic. And I do agree that Man United have been clever in the transfer market. The only failure we've had from the last two years was failing to sign Ivan Perisic. We couldn't do anything about Antoine Griezmann because of the transfer ban. In Mourinho's first year, we got Pogba, Mkhitaryan, Zlatan and Bay, the four players that Mourinho wanted. This year, we got Lindelof, Lukaku and Matic, the three signings that Mourinho wanted. We didn't get that fourth signing with Perisic. We have failed there, but Mourinho has been systematic in his transfers. And I think an interesting point to cover here is when Mourinho talks about the squad shape and the current condition he feels Manchester United's squad is in. He says we're going to fight against very good teams and we're going to try. I have said three summer transfer windows is what I need to have the team I want to have. The team I think can bring Manchester United to the top of English football and to close the gap to the top of European football again. And I still think we need that third transfer window, but I'm not going to wait for the third transfer window to try and reach it. Now, I don't know whether that means that Jose Mourinho is going to try and bring in someone like Antoine Griezmann in January. Let me know in the comments whether you think A, that will be a good signing, B, whether there's any chance of that happening. But Mourinho still feels he needs that third transfer window to complete his squad. And I think just as important as ins is outs. So here's a few areas I think that Mourinho needs to sort in the next transfer window. I'd say we're currently weak in central midfield depth. And by depth, I mean if we get an injury to either Pogba, Herrera or Matic, I don't feel we've got enough options there. We're going to be seeing Fellaini and Carrick starting week in, week out. Pereira's now gone out on loan. He's not an option there. United are weak in that area. And that's why I always thought that Renato Sanchez on loan would have been a good signing. But he joined Swansea instead. And I think if you're looking at replacing Michael Carrick in the summer, that's absolutely got to happen. We've got to replace Latan Ibrahimovic in the summer. That's absolutely got to happen. And then you look at the players that could be sold. You say Chris Smalling, Ashley Young, Marouan Fellaini are three players that I think Man United can sell and replace with better, more rounded players. And then you look at left back. It's the biggest weakness we've got in the current squad. If Luke Shaw can't deliver this season, I think we have to look at replacing him next year. But I absolutely agree with Mourinho on this one that one more transfer window, that is, he's got all the tools that he then needs to create a Manchester United squad which is capable of dominating again. That's what Man United did. We didn't just win, we dominated. We won the league for three years in a row. Manchester United have always had that dominating factor. That fear factor's left. It came back last year, albeit with 10 home draws. This year we started off in electric fashion. But this interview I think is fantastic from Mourinho. There's real insight into how he deals with his teams, how he feels about the current Manchester United squad and the weaknesses within it, and how he sees his own legacy at Manchester United and how long it's going to be. Let me know what you think about the interview below. Are there any interesting points you've read that you want to discuss? And as I said, what areas do you think Man United still need to improve in our squad in the summer transfer window? Who would you bring in? Bale, Griezmann, Perisic, Verratti. I'm sure there's lots of names you're gonna throw at me, but put them in the comments and explain exactly why you think that player should join. As always, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.